taking the lead on charity. Welcome to our latest Best Practices Report. I'm Tom Warabek. Today, a twist on dealership donations. At some retailers, philanthropic decisions are made in boardrooms. But at Patriot Subaru, which has stores in Maine and Massachusetts, employees have a significant say in where charitable dollars go. It's all part of what's called an associate directed giving program. And as you'll hear, the amount of money delivered to a charity or nonprofit organization is tied to the staffer's involvement in that group. It's good for us, it's good for the community, and it's good for them. Patriot Subaru owner Adam Ahrens is talking about the company's effort to let staffers drive the giving process. Each associate that's been there for over a year is entitled to nominate a place where they would like us to contribute money. That's when Aaron's asks employees four questions. So tell us about the charity, to tell, them why, tell us why it's important to them, tell us the role that they have in it, and then how that role is going to change in the future. He then evaluates each annual request, and if approved... We make a, a gift to that charity. The minimum is $250. But that figure is flexible, especially when members of Aaron's team take active roles in charitable groups. So if somebody sits on a board, the dollar amount's going to be higher. If somebody is the president of a board, it's going to be higher. And if somebody has a distinct need for a specific purpose, it can actually be higher too. So we've had gifts of $1,000 and $2,000. A study conducted by the National Automobile Dealers Association and Ally Financial found more than 70% of new car dealerships increased their charitable giving in 2014, up from 65% in 2013. Patriot Subaru started the associate directed giving feature in 2014. We've participated with 15 new charities this year as a result of that. Some that you, know, you would never have thought about, but once you find the, that the associate has a passion for whatever it's for, it's a great thing to stand next to them and help. And Aaron says he is seeing solid employee participation. At the group store in Saco, Maine. We have um, about 55 um, associates. 35 have participated this year. Some are not eligible because they haven't been with us for over a year, but there's still another 10 or 12 people that have not participated who are eligible. Aaron still has a list of primary charities the company donates to on an annual basis, but he won't hand out cash to just any organization that walks into the showroom. He says there is a fine line between providing financial relief and promotion. Everybody approaches you with this idea to advertise in their, in their book or to sponsor their hole in one or to sponsor the team to do this and we'll put you on our website and we'll do all that stuff. Listen, charity is charity. Marketing is marketing. We don't mix the two. So there's no reason for us to be on your website as amongst 15 different organizations that have given you money. What we want to do is be part of your organization or not be part of your organization. We want our marketing dollars to be spent the best way and we want our charity dollars to go to people who are making a difference in this world. And Aaron says customers notice a difference too. He says shoppers are overwhelmed with Patriot's willingness to participate and connect with the community, especially when events are held at the stores. We've done blood drives, pet adoption days, a lot of dog adoption days and pet adoption days. Um, and we've helped clean the streets in town and we've, we've done all that stuff and people are amazed because I think so many organizations in the car business do something with money or they'll do something with people but they won't get directly involved. And you know, it's real hard. That's because Saturday and Sunday are often two of the busiest sales days of the week. And those are the days that most people have their events but we still go out of our way to make sure that we're involved. Aaron says the Saco store has budgeted about $160,000 this year for giving purposes. And his new dealership in North Attleboro, Massachusetts will donate up to $70,000 in 2015. That's more than a quarter million dollars combined. As always, we thank you so much for joining us and hope to see you soon.